guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tattoo Tarot Goddess. Um, I wanted to do a video about the twin flame journey because a lot of people are basically confused about what the twin flame journey is. A lot of people believe that it is a journey about a relationship. No, that's way off. That's way wrong and that's way off. It has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with a relationship. The Twin Flame journey is all about self. It's about finding who you are, your authentic self. It's not about the other person. It's not about you being with them. It's not about anything to do with that relationship. You meet this person, okay? You meet this person and you feel this very strong magnetic pull towards this person. Now, when you meet them, you guys will click instantly. But the thing about it is, is your twin flame will leave you. They do leave you and they will leave you utterly heartbroken. And that heartbreak is so intense that it triggers you to go through the dark night of the soul. It will trigger you to go on a journey to find who you really are. Not them, not a relationship, not anything like that. A lot of people believe, oh, when I meet my twin flame, everything's going to be bliss. That's bullshit. No, it's not. It's one of the most hardest things and the heartbreak is so intense That, that is what triggers you into finding who you are, what you deserve. Because your twin flame comes into your life, okay, and at first things are going to go good. Then they're just going to up and do a 360 on you or a 180, whatever the hell you want to call it. And they're going to change at the snap of a finger. And they're going to start treating you the way you shouldn't be treated. And what this is to do, it's to trigger you and do what you will and won't allow in your life. It's to trigger you as to what you deserve. For you to put up boundaries. For you to figure out who you are. The tr a twin flame journey has a very little... Very little to do with a relationship. And when you, when this, all this is happening and you're triggered, you're going to be like, man, what the hell? What is going on? Why does this person trigger me so much? And that's because they are mirroring to you what you need to fix inside of you. That's exactly what is going on. So, a lot of people believe this Twin Flame journey is about when you find them, you'll be in bliss. When you find your Twin Flame, that everything is going to come together. Or, I see these posts where it says, a false Twin Flame. Oh, your false oh, Twin Flame won't leave you and blah. Bullshit. Whoever these people are making these signs, they have obviously never met their real twin. Your real twin comes in your life to trigger you. Your real twin comes in your life for you to set boundaries as to what you will and won't accept. What you do and don't deserve. What you uh, will tolerate, what you won't tolerate. 
your will, a real twin, it comes in to awaken you. Not to give you some fantasy ass relationship. It's all a journey of self. That's it. Every single bit of it is a journey of self. Yes, in the beginning, you'll talk to this person, you'll be with this person, and everything will be fine and dandy. And then, like I said, one day, your twin just up and switches like that. And it's, when that happens... That's when the triggers happen. So it's it, it just it just amazes me uh, what is going on out here and what false things are being said about the twin flame journey. Because anybody that has truly and really met their twin flame knows that the twin flame journey is about self. It's about raising your vibrations. It's about taking you to the next level. It's about waking you up to who you are. And a lot of people just misunderstand what twin flames really are. They really do. So, I don't know, you know, how many of you out there have met your real twin, but I have. And it is a complete and utter journey of self. They reflect back to you what needs to be fixed inside of you. Why you have such issues with certain things. Why... Do you feel a way about certain things? Why do you deal with this? Why do you deal with that? Why do you... It, you know what I'm saying? It's It has really nothing to do with self at all. But I am going to do a reading um, for the Twin Flames right now. And just remember that this is a journey of self. It has very little to do with the relationship. Very little. And once you realize that it has very little to do with the relationship, and once you ultimately let go of this person... That's when you can advance forward. For the Divine Feminine, we got protected. We got your hard work and determination is creating, is creating blessed foundations for the future. So, you know, if anyone ever tells you they met their twin and they're in bliss, they're lying to you. Just so you know that. So, the Divine Feminine is going to have new opportunities and abundance is coming her way. And she might be seeing like a lot of numbers right now, as in 444, 888, and stuff like that. Because when you're on the Twin Flame journey, you see a lot of these. We got chills, confirmation. So <coughs> you could be getting cold spells going on right now.
something's being hidden. Energy alignment, clinging, and we got Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. That is for the Divine Feminine. Now we are going to read for the Masculine. And the Twin Flame journey is one of the hardest things you will ever have to face in your life. Just because you don't know whether you want to let go of this person or keep holding on to them. We got Spider and Weave. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. And we got Incubation. So we got the Divine Masculine over here creating a new reality for himself. We got hidden knowledge, promises, hardship, enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth, love, caring, and compassion. And hospitality. So what I want to do is I want to see what abilities the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are awakening within themselves. Because when the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine wake up, that is when their abilities, their psychic powers and all that awaken within them. What abilities is going on with the divine feminine right now what are what is waking up within her we got clear sentience messages from spirit calling cards from heaven so the divine feminine is getting messages sent to her from her ancestors also that are leading her One more shuffle before. What abilities are awakening within the Divine Masculine? Wheels of Light. So his chakras are being aligned right now. And when you go through this Twin Flame journey, just so you know, you both are on... You both are not at the same level with awakening. One is further ahead than the other. What abilities will be woken up? Mind focus, time to heal. The medium's toolbox. Oh. Blending with spirit. Energy scanning, ethical awareness, divine source. So the divine masculine is is it, it, as advanced as the divine feminine right now. So he is still going through wakening up his chakras to align with his authentic self. So we got the divine feminine way further ahead on this journey than the Divine Masculine. So if you're the Divine Feminine out there, 
and you could be receiving these messages from spirit while you're sleeping. So I suggest when you wake up, write your dreams down if you can remember them. Because not everybody can remember their dreams. So if you can, just remember that. And clairsentience, I'll read to you what that is. Clairsentience is the most natural of all the psychic senses. It is the ability to sense the emotions or feelings of other people, animals, and your surroundings, as well as spirit people. Don't underestimate the power of clairsentience. It can assist you in all areas of your life and enhance your connection with spirit. Our bodies act as one big psychic antenna. When meeting someone for the first time, most of us have a gut response. And when walking into a room, it is possible to feel vibrations. When a medium is working and using their ability of clairsentience, they are able to feel or sense the spirit's energy, whether it's male, female, young, or old. In the nature of the illness, in the nature of the illness that might have taken the spirit to the other side, the medium should be able to describe the spirit the spirit's personality and their mannerisms and in some cases take on the characteristics of the spirit this is the most common way mediums work and there are no limits to what the spirit can make the medium sense clairsentience is felt through the solar plexus center you can strengthen this ability by practicing daily Focus on your solar plexus center and ask yourself what, what you're feeling. Be sure to do this when meeting someone new and making an important decision. When you start asking how you're feeling, tuning into your solar plexus and paying attention, the psychic ability will strengthen and grow. So, if that is happening... To you right now, you are coming in alignment with your psychic abilities. So you will be able to feel the vibrations of people. I can feel the vibrations of people. I can also, okay, so I can also sense what somebody is feeling. I can read you like a dime. Like, if you are around me within my vicinity, and I can feel if you're overwhelmed, I can feel if you're intimidated, I can feel if you're shy, I can feel if you're not feeling good, I can feel if whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I have clairsentience. I also can, like, I will receive images at times in my mind, and that is telling me what okay so I did a reading not let me explain this I did a reading not too long ago for somebody and I kept picturing a blue shirt uh like a blue and white striped shirt with a collar on it when he was a little boy and um a brown couch and his mother wore like one of them things over her head that tied down here like a scarf or something and it had flowers on it so you know like I will receive images in my mind and then like I will feel sensations of certain things so your psychic abilities will start to wake up within you as you go through the twin flame journey now I've always, since I was little, I've always been able to manifest. I've always manifested since I was young. And not a lot of people would believe what I was talking about when I would say I could think about something and I would feel that I had it and I would get it. Everybody thought, oh yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't believe it. But yes, you can do it. And it's called the law of attraction. And I did it since I've been little. And I never knew what it was until I got older. 
So as you go through the twin flame journey, that's when all your psychic abilities really start to shine within you. Really start to shine within you. But you, like... Like I said, the twin flame journey is a journey of self. It's not about anybody else. It's not about the other person or what they're doing or how they're feeling or anything like that. It is about a journey of self. Because like I said before, one twin flame is way further ahead than the other on the journey. So, a lot of people have it confused. And I wanted to clear things up with that because a lot of people believe that when they meet their twin flame, oh, everything is bliss. And that's utter crap. You go through an awakening. And that's what awakens you. And that's what stirs your soul and everything else. So it has very little to do with the other person. The other person is just there to trigger you. To bring you along. And that's it. But, alright guys, thanks for watching. I wanted to get this video out to clear things up on the Twin Flame journey. Just so you knew. And don't be fooled by thinking, oh, when I meet my Twin Flame, everything is going to be great. No, it's one of the hardest things in your life you will ever have to overcome. And that's the honest God's truth. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.